Hello dolls and gents and welcome back to my channel. I am coming at you with a face of the day here and this unit does not want to act right today. Um, this will probably be the last week you see this unit because it has been getting on my nerves. Okay, totally getting on my nerves. Um, so I'll start with my lips. And I have on the LA Splash Lip Color in Goulash. It's a mattifying lipstick. So I've moisturized, um, mattifying liquid lipstick. So I've moisturized my lips really, really good. And then I put a gloss on top of it. And I put the uh, Lip Glass in Soft Serenade by MAC. It's a limited edition one on top of it. And that's just how I wear it. I know you guys love just the normal look of the liquid lipsticks, but I do not. Um, I buy it for the color, but I can't stand how mattifying it gets. So I put a lip gloss on top of it, and I just have to remember not to put my lips together. And I have a very bad habit of putting my lips together. I am doing the Ellen Tracy eyeshadows that were gifted to me. And you're going to see a video of the uh, gifts that I received um, on this either today or tomorrow. But I'm using the Ellen Tracy along with the Naked 3 palette in my stash. Um, I also was gifted this Maybelline Super Skin Foundation, and uh, yeah, I'm not even going to review this. This is horrid. This is horrible. This is horrid. I appreciate the gift. I got Warm not, warm Honey, number 90. Let me tell y'all, this thing left me stuck three times. Okay, I wore it on Saturday. I didn't have anywhere to go on Saturday, but I noticed by the time I got home, it had disappeared. Disappeared. I don't need no tips on makeup. I don't need no suggestions. I know how to wear makeup. I wear makeup for 10 hours a day at work and it doesn't disappear. I may have to blot, but it doesn't disappear. This junk disappeared. Okay, Sunday, I had a birthday party to go to. I put it on. I'm talking about I beat my face. The same way I beat my face every day because it was a birthday party. Beat my face. By the time I get, I put the makeup on like 12. Um, stopped and got a gift and everything. By the time I got to the shower and looked in the mirror to kind of blot, it was gone. It was literally gone all up in here in my oily areas. And it says oil free. It was literally gone. My daughter was like, mom, oh my God. I looked like I had never applied makeup a day in my life. Don't know what to do, how to do it and when to do it. it I was so horrid. I was not going to go to the party, but my work bag was in the car. Thank God. Because I keep makeup samples that I get of different types of makeup in my work bag as a backup precaution or a touch-up precaution, emergency precaution. Luckily, I had some makeup samples of Estee Lauder Double Wear and I had to redo my uh, face. I had to redo my face. It was gone. I was like, why is this disappearing? Monday, Labor Day, half a day at work, did a total beat. Didn't do any eyeshadow or anything, but just a total beat of my face. I'm talking setting powders, powders under, powders over, setting sprays, everything. I worked 8.30 to 1. By 1 o'clock, it was gone. I'm done. This thing has set me up three times, three strikes. It's out. I'm done. It's horrible. i tell you what I think it is. I think it is too thin. It's super, super, super thin. Um, I don't know if you can try to build this layers and layers and layers on your face, but it is super, super, super thin. I should have known something because when I put it on and then when I did my under eye highlight and I took my beauty blender, I noticed it disappearing when I was b blending with my beauty blender and I had to go over it again. And that should have been a red flag, but I was like, that's weird. Um, this will not stay on. It's hot. I'm oily. I set it to the gods. It's horrid. So it won't get me again. What I'm doing is I'm mixing it. Um, today's Wednesday. I mixed it Tuesday. I'm mixing it today with a thicker foundation, with a more doable foundation, my Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place. I am mixing it with this um, only because this is a little too dark for me and uh, that lightens it up. I'm mixing it with this. I did it yesterday, lasted all day, no problem. All I had to do was blot. I didn't have any problems with disappearing. I worked a nine hour day. No problem. Yeah, so I'm mixing it with that. It will not get me again. Uh, for my highlight, I am using the NYX Liquid Illuminator. This one is in Gleam. And I'm putting the Ruby Kisses over it. And this is in Flushed Glow. 
And that's where you see that highlight there. I'm not doing any uh, blush. I'm just doing just the bronzing and the highlight. You know, just the bronzing and the highlight. Didn't do any blush. Um, my contour, it's not a deep, deep contour, but it, you know, it's there for work. Is the uh, contour and blush two palette that was gifted to me by BH Cosmetics. I recommend this for anyone. I can't cannot explain how super stoked I am about this palette. I just can't explain it. I'm setting my face with the Cover FX powder here that was in my stash. Um, I'm also highlighting with the Mac Prep and Prime here, and I'm mixing the Mac Prep and Prime with the uh, Maybelline Master Conceal. I'm on the fence about this too. This is a little thin, and when I do my highlight, it's not giving me a highlight. It's, it's kind of disappearing also, rubbing away. I think I need to set it, uh, smear it in with my fingers or a brush instead of a beauty blender. I notice when I try to blend this in with a beauty blender, it disappears. It doesn't give me the highlight that I'm looking for. So that's that. And I think I have went over everything. I think I went over everything. Yep. Yeah. Looks like everything that I'm using, my eyeshadow base is by Mica Cosmetics. It's an eye primer. Very thick. It's like a matte paint pot, if you don't know what that is. And that's it. That's everything I'm using this week. I hope you guys enjoyed my face of the day. I am over my limit, and I'll see y'all the next time we play in our makeup.